ladies and gentlemen, it's Pinhead, Mr. Doug Bradley. Give it up for the Chatterer Center by Mr. Nicholas Vince. I could ask a ton of questions, but I guess I don't want to give these people as much of an opportunity to ask the questions they came here to ask. But what I would love to do is, just from everybody, when you think about your experiences working on Hellraiser and being part of this, this universe, what's the first that comes to your mind thinking about when you were working on the film or anything that's happened since then? When you think of, when I worked on Hellraiser, this comes to mind. <laughs> Well, considering the, I probably spent more time in makeup than I did acting, I guess it's the whole process of putting on the makeup, which took four hours. And uh, the costume is in half an hour, and then taking it all off again was an hour. So that, that made a big impression on me. Because <laughs> it was really uncomfortable, but not compared to other people who were, their, their makeup was much more uncomfortable than mine. But the first time they took it off, my skin was all pink, and I went, ooh, I'm all rosy pink. And the makeup artist went, yeah, that's an oxygen starvation. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So I guess that's the, the, the whole makeup process was possibly the, the thing that made the biggest impression on me. Stop. <laughs> uh, wait. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, 
it, yeah, I mean, God, there's just hundreds and hundreds of stories. It was great fun. I mean, you know, we were just this bunch of people who had no idea what we were getting ourselves into, and that we'd be here for 20 years later. Um, but yeah, fun memories, and not being able to hear, speak, or see. <laughs> Whilst I was in that damn makeup, great hours, and then they didn't film me. <laughs> but apart from the bitterness, um, <laughs> amazing, absolutely amazing experience. Yeah, nothing like I've done it before or since, I have to say. Simon. Um, oh, I suppose mine is similar to, to, to yours, Nick, really. Uh, a kind of blackness. You say, what, what do you what do you remember first? Kind of blackness, kind of darkness of going in in the morning at three or four, and and then it becoming very dark, and black, <laughs> until eight at night, <laughs> and then sitting with just your own thoughts, really, for kind of hours and hours and hours and hours. Remember sitting rehearsing the Hellraiser rap. Yes. We, we want. We want. We want. We want. We want the man. We want the man. We were gonna. We were gonna form the Hellraiser band, the Cenobites. <laughs> we, we still might. Yeah. I, I have to tell you, nothing is quite so so touching as the sight of uh, Chatterer and Butterball being led by the hand to their to their positions on set because the, these guys are not exaggerating. I, I, I certainly had it easy by comparison. They were deaf and blind once they were in their their, uh, their makeups. <laughs> Thank you for that, Doug. <laughs> and they're almost on stage in life again, where they will need to be gently led by the hand. <laughs> That was great. <laughs>